Hello there, everyone. My name's Nico, and I'm coming to you from James Houlihan Park in Saanich, BC, a suburb of Victoria, British Columbia, where I live. And I'm here to present to you my rewilding project. Look around here. It's a 1.9 hectare, 4.6 acre suburban park. But what do you see mostly? Just grasses. It's completely underutilized. Believe it or not, this used to be a second growth Douglas fir ecosystem. You see those trees behind me there? Those are Douglas firs. This all used to be that too. You also get a bunch of other stuff here as well. You've got some western red cedars there, a hedge of western red cedars, a hedge of cherry laurels there. You've got your arbutus tree, the only broadleaf evergreen tree in Canada. It's a beautiful native tree on the Pacific Northwest. You've also got your invasive holly here as well, ornamental Christmas kind of tree, shrub. It's a bit of a pest. And you've got your Himalayan blackberry, which is invasive. That's just a bit of the uh, plant biodiversity in this park. And look behind me here too. You get a couple of Colombian black-tailed deer as well. So as you can see, this is a more biodiverse park than you'd first imagine. But it used to be so much richer. Back in the 1870s and 1880s when it was acquired by the Hulahan family after which the park is named the whole area was logged to make way for a farm and orchard and today this is the result so why did I decide to focus on this setting I decided to focus on this park because it's a very large green space that is very underutilized and not in its natural ecosystem state currently there's immense potential here to increase local biodiversity, re-establish ecosystem functionality, and establish an ecological corridor for wildlife traveling through the surrounding areas. Wildlife such as these deer here, as well as predators that prey on them, like cougars and wolves that we have in this region, give the cougars cover, give the deer cover, and re-establish the uh, trophic food web balance. And there's several other parks around here. And the ocean is just behind me there, less than a kilometer away. Reestablishing this as a forest would be a great ecological connector for these uh, species that require this area. The aim of the project is to restore this park to its original state as a second growth Douglas fir forest, as it was heavily forested prior to the 1870s, as stated. So that's the ultimate aim of this project. Applied intervention. First, you stop cutting the grass, remove the few small patches of invasive species. So Himalayan blackberry, remove that uh, hedge of the cherry laurel. And there's a few other tiny invasive spots of scotch broom and a couple of other species. So you remove those restore the native grasses and plants. And uh, the next step after that is to plant, tree plant Douglas fir seedlings and monitor and assess the seedlings and young trees in the park to ensure they are surviving and thriving. Within a decade, a new growth Douglas fir ecosystem and all the associated benefits will reemerge, bring this park back to its former glory as a forest. Steps needed. Step one, discuss plan with local community members as well as with members of the public and educate them about the benefits of this rewilding project and urban rewilding in general. You also want to talk to Saanich Parks and Recreation who own this land to submit a rewilding proposal and gain input on how such a project might work. Step two, conduct a site survey. Step three, work with Saanich Parks to begin steps of rewilding if granted approval. 
couple of other things here. This park has a uh, podzol soil. It's called P-O-D-Z-O-L. This is acidic forest type soil that is common on the Pacific Northwest and in the coastal temperate forests. True forested type of soil, which is very conducive to restoring this ecosystem. Um, as for water bodies, there's no creeks or rivers or lakes nearby, but there is the ocean half a kilometer away. And you might get temporary vernal pools here during the high rainy season. There's none currently, but it could get a little bit uh, swampy, tiny bit. Air quality is fantastic. I looked the other day and it's at a two, which is very low risk, low rating of air quality uh, or pollution. Even in the bigger cities like Vancouver, pollution is generally pretty low on the west coast here and it's fantastic in Victoria. But restoring this uh, park to a Douglas fir ecosystem would even, would increase air quality even more. And absorbing carbon dioxide from the vehicles that are passing by and cooling the temperature a little bit, making it cooler and uh, absorbing CO2. This is benefits to the climate as well as benefits to wildlife. There's another animal there. I don't know if you can see in the picture. There's a squirrel that just popped onto that fence there. Oh yeah, there he is, passing by me here. It's amazing the wildlife you'll see just from hanging out in a park for a little bit. But imagine how much better it could be in the original coastal Douglas fir ecosystem of which less than 1% remains intact on Vancouver Island. Think about that. It's just crazy. I hope this project works out and I'll be talking and interviewing locals in the area, residents, as well as talking to Saanich Parks and Recreation to get the ball rolling here. I hope I've educated you a little bit about the magnificent part of the world I live in and the coastal Douglas fir ecosystem and why it's so important to rewild and conserve spaces such as this. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye.